It is National Allergy Awareness Week, National Food Allergy Awareness Week. And if your child has been recently diagnosed with an allergy, you're going to have to make sure that you get some big diet and lifestyle changes for them. So these changes often affect entire families. And here to give parents some tips on managing food allergies is Dr. Angela Hogan from CHKD. She's a pediatric allergy and immunology specialist. It's a long title, but I'm pretty sure that you can kind of sum that up here in just a few sentences. First of all, thank you for being here with us. I had allergies and still do. Uh, as an adult, I can't eat fish. So I always wondered, is this something that passes from the mom or the dad to the child? Is it something that mom did, didn't do during pregnancy? Can we start there? So we're starting to understand food allergies a little bit better. The only food allergy that we think is directly genetically linked is peanut. Okay. Um, but the opportunity to become allergic to foods is genetically passed or the opportunity to be allergic in general is genetically passed. So we think that probably the environment plays a role and some of the new studies are at least suggesting that what you um, immediately eat after um, the baby is born, what's mm. passed in the breast milk um, may directly affect whether or not food allergies are developed. The current thinking is is that you need to feed the baby early okay. um, as soon as they're developmentally able and that all foods including highly allergenic foods should be in the diet before 12 months. Early introduction is thought to be tolerizing now instead of allergy provoking. Right, because it was backwards for a while, it be, wasn't it? We used to it? say, don't eat those foods. Right. But completely changed now. The American Academy of Pediatric Stresses um, over and over again feed the baby as soon as they're able to tolerate it and not choke or or have any problems with it. Interesting, now, and you brought some products with you as well. I know you have different EpiPens and other things like that. We have a little bit of time left. What do you really wanna to get to people uh, since it is Food Allergy Awareness Week and how can we help kids during this time that have those allergies? So I think the most important things um, that I would want for every child is that if you have been diagnosed with a food allergy or you're suspicious of one, first of all, that you get evaluated. Mm -hmm. Second of all, every child needs to have an action plan um, that's written out for them that they can take to school or even if they're younger kids they need to have a plan so they know exactly how to recognize an allergic reaction which usually involves like hives or wheezing or can be vomiting and then also once they recognize the reaction know what the next steps are that need to be taken those next mm -hmm. steps for most children um, if it's a significant reaction involves auto injectable epinephrine and there are multiple different auto injectable epinephrines that are available on the market mm -hmm. including ep EpiPen, a generic form of the EpiPen. There's also Adrenal Click, which is a generic epinephrine, and also AviQ, which is a new um, small talking device that delivers epinephrine, awesome. and that they should always have it with them. Right. And then additionally, they need times. to read labels. Right. Um, and they need to educate everyone else around them to be aware of what a food allergic reaction looks like Absolutely. and how to respond. All right, valuable information there. Dr. Hogan, we appreciate you so much, and we'll be right back. Thank you.